Good morning everybody, how are you all doing? So it's weekend again guys and I'm going to do some maintenance on this area of my garden. So this is a walk park. As you see, I could hardly walk through there and all my succulents in this side are overtaking the footpath. So this is what I'm going to do this weekend. It will be a very busy day ahead of me. I'm going to replace the succulent over this side with a succulent that is not overtaking their footpath and maybe I'm going to plant a Echeveria like Agavoid's lipstick, uh, Blood Maria because they grow slowly and they don't grow tall so that's what I'm planning to do this weekend so guys please join me till the end and see what we can achieve this weekend I'm just going to grab the tools I needed and then we will going to start working so before i'm going to start pulling out these succulents here guys i'm going to give you a closer look what it looks like in this corner of my garden as you see the footpath is hardly there the plants like this ionium is really taking over you cannot see the footpath anymore then we have this purple delight and imbricata maybe they will stay because they're hardly not taking over the footpath and i have this barren bolt here it's really getting big as well and it's taking over the footpath and we also have a lot of weeds this ionium here I'm going to remove that as well. This is Blushing Beauty. And this fig paste, it's not flowering anymore. So I'm going to cut this back. Maybe I'm just going to leave a few uh, plants in this. Maybe I'm going to leave something for the next year season, but see how it goes. Some of my sunbursts are also covered by this fig paste. And I have more succulent here that maybe I'm going to replace, see how it goes. And this upper part of my garden, maybe we're going to clean this one as well, tidy up. If I will get the time, then we can also uh, clean this area. I think I need to, there's a lot of bugs eating my sunburst. I think I suspect that it's an earwig or those little uh, centipede or millipedes they call. And this sunburst is getting heavy so maybe I will put some steak to pull backwards like that. And I have more here that needs to be pulled backwards. So probably that's what we're going to do today guys. So a really busy day for me to do some maintenance in the garden but it doesn't matter guys these things like this that i do makes me happy then afterwards with the result i get it makes my a day satisfied so let's start now and see what we can come up later on So that fig face is gone and it looks a bit better now. That's what it looks like. I didn't realize that I planted this fig base over there just in the pot. So I decided to just remove them all. And maybe I can uh, repot this or propagate this and plant in the front garden.
Okay, guys, so Matthew is here for help, nope. for a rescue, because <laughs> this is quite a big job. Okay, start pulling, mister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can pull that one out. I'm going around. Yes, please. The bowling ball? The bowling ball, yeah, can you put it away? And I'm also going to pull out this barren ball because it's uh, covering the footpath. I guess I just removed everything. Oh, look there. Okay. It's quite big. Before this, it's just a little tiny plant. So, uh, so we managed to remove most of the plant. This is what we end up. This is the mess that we going to clean up as well. So most of the plant that I pull out, I just put it there for now. And really a big mess, guys. So this is a big job for me. And I left some. So this purple delight corner, I left it there because it's still pretty. And I also left this ionium here and the elegant so there's few that is been untouched and i'm going to trim the ruby necklace so let's continue and see what we can come up at the end So after a few hours of working, this is what we achieved. I left some few um, succulent in there, that part there, and then I have this, and then some on that end. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to get some rocks and I'm going to put some rocks as a border so I can contain my plant just on the corner of this retaining wall so let's keep going i'm just going to grab my rocks and then i'll be back i have this handmade pot that beverly my friend gave it to me so i think instead of this rock in here i'll remove this and place it with this one okay so let's see what it looks like might get the soil and put it here now this one got a lot of holes okay let's put it here or maybe that way that's not too bad so it's looking good so far I can see my footpath now so here it is okay so I'm just going to get my plants and then I'll be back since this area here guys are lots of just rocks I'm going to fill this one with soil and I'm using my succulent and cactus mix succulent and cactus mix 
just to give it a little bit of soil in here so we're just going to mix it up just like this okay so that's, that's what i'll do so i already did this one before and the saffron loves it So that's really a quite big job guys i managed to clean up this area remove all the plants that i don't want to stay here and then i put the rock as a border and fill up some soil so yeah and it's already 12 noon so i think i'm going to start from here because we're going fishing and we're going fishing with some couple of friends so i'll give you a little bit of a video for that and then tomorrow we're going to continue planting and I hope, fingers crossed, we're going to finish it tomorrow. So see you tomorrow, guys. Good morning, everyone. Happy weekend to all. So this is our second day doing that project that I've started yesterday. And I have um, mentioned to you yesterday, we went out fishing. So that fishing went well. We enjoy having fun with our friends although we didn't catch any fish because the weather get too windy but most important is we enjoy catching up and bending with friends so yesterday i able to gather my succulents that i'm going to use on that project so here they are um i'm not sure if i have enough but then if i don't then we will just look around in the garden and see what we can use in that project so i'm going to give you a closer look what sort of plant i'm planning to put in that um, corner of my garden so here what i gathered around to use in that corner of my garden guys uh, i have this blood maria that i can separate and then black prince and i have this arrangement here that maybe i'll just put it as a whole because this is planted in the pot and it's beautiful together then i have this colorata i think and then i have this old arrangement that i can just put it there and i have this other one here but i'm thinking of removing this imbricata and replace it with pachypytum glotinical and see how it goes from there so let's start um, planting these babies this beautiful plant in that corner of that garden So finally we're done and this is what I achieved. I can see my footpath now and it's looking good but I didn't able to do the top part so I'm going to do that next time because just doing this area here 
it's kind of big job as well so next time i'm going to do the top part so let's have a closer look guys what's um the result of redoing this corner of my garden so so some of the plant here i just left it so i have this area here that I just left it there because they are not really as bad they're not taking over the footpath but starting from here all the way out there it's a new plant so we start from here so this one is blue metal Um, it's just a very tight space here guys so bear with me now this ball here this one has been there for quite some time so these are some parvival and I just put some sedum where there is a patch here that died back so I just put some few sedums there so this some of the sedums here are this one is golden rice and I don't know the identification of this pink one but it looks great it looks beautiful now this one this is an aga voice and it's been attacked by a I think um, millipedes no not millipedes a wig <laughs> and it's not seeing the sunlight before because it's been covered by those big succulent the succulent that overgrown so now it's good and we have the black prince blood maria we have the blue metal I think this one is Mira. I don't know the identification for that. And I have this pot that combined with different succulent there. It's gorgeous. And then I have a over here. I have this Agavoid lipstick that's been neglected and left in the shaded area. So we'll put it here to get lots more sunlight and then this will start um, coloring up and showing those beautiful red edge. And then I have a bunch of arrangement here. We have the colorata. I think this is Beni Musume. And few, a lot of little um, Echeveria here. There you go. And I use those serums for covering the empty space. Gorgeous. Now this spot is given to me by Miss Beverly. So I used it here to um, make us a border as well and planted some little succulent so these are cuttings okay then we move here another um, nice small pot this is a semper viral okay so it's a very tight spot guys it's hard to take the or get the video we have the black prince very musume another agavoids Now over here, I have a pot of cactus here. And then this area here, I just left it there. So we have the purple delight. This one is a violet queen. Now another agar voice. I think this is mirror is in the pot. And this one is given to me as a gift, a birthday gift. It's in a nice pot as well. It's a Semper Vibum varieties. 
Now another of these lipstick that's been kept in the shade and it's been attacked by the earwig but it's all right that can recover later on and then we have the colorada another benamusume and over here we have this area here i just left it there it's been there before and i love this a young new kiwi and then we have the elegance very top tough plant <laughs> and a pot of succulent in here i just left it there it's been there for quite some time and this lots of leaf dropping so that's the result of redoing this area guys and i hope i will not redo this again after a year or two because the plant i put here are mostly echeveria and we know echeveria are controlled plant they don't really grow as fast as the other succulent there you go so i hope you've been inspired with this weekend project guys so this is what it looks like from the front i'm really happy with the result so the top that's what it looks like so so i'm going to redo that as well and maybe our next video will be this one on top so um our ionio sunburst even it's summer it's dormant season it's still beautiful So guys, I hope you like what I shared to you this weekend and I hope that you also inspired with this um, makeover. Is it makeover? Actually, it's just a maintenance of each corner of my garden. And I hope guys, you have a lovely weekend today. And I hope you enjoying spending time with your garden. So guys, I'm going to see you next time. So that's it for now. And if you're my viewers for quite some time, but you're not subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe. It will mean a lot to me if you do so. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell. So every time we have a new video like this, you will be notified and you will not miss a thing. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to leave me a message in my comment section. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.